Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review today. I'm here to tell you all about Omega Infinity and the album Solar Spectre out March 27th on Season of Mist. The album has 9 tracks, 43 minutes in length, and this is a debut project led by Tentacle P. The reason I decided to check out this project was because it features Zen from Neo Bloviscaris. That is the main reason I decided to sit down and listen to this album. I'm a huge fan of his, great guy, amazing vocals, and I just wanted to see what he was bringing to the table with his voice and how this overall project was going to sound like and, and what kind of dynamic it was going to have. So as I sat down to listen to this album, the first thing that I noticed is that the sound on this record is really black metal driven. That is the main sound, that is the spinal cord, the DNA, the DNA of this record. But then there's other elements at play because it really pushes the sound, it really pushes the overall volume really beyond the genres of black metal, but black metal is really the essence of it all. So there was a lot of electronic elements at play, a lot of atmospheric elements at play, and the combination of those two elements with the overall really robust black metal influences really creates a very interesting and dynamic record on all fronts, not just on the sound, but on the vocals and the overall structure that the record has to offer. This is an album that, not only from a track listing perspective, but also from a sound perspective, it really takes you on a journey through space. That is what you're going to get from this record. That is what this record really is all about. By the time you're finishing listening to the album, you start to think that perhaps you have a new genre emerging with this record, and that would be cosmic black metal. Because that's how this album feels. That There are certain songs on this record that it, it, it feels like the perfect soundtrack to space, to travel through galaxies, to th travel through the darkness and the beauty of space. So this album has a really uncanny ability to really bring what we picture th that experience to be and transform it into music. I, I really thought that was a very interesting ap approach, not something that is really easy to do or easy to pull it off. But the, the magnitude of this record, the way it sounds, the way it's coming at you, the way the, the tracks are put together, the overall structure of the album and the individual songs, really paints a vivid picture of traveling through the cosmos, of traveling through our, our, our own galaxy. Uh, the, the sound that surrounds our planets, that surrounds empty space, and, and is space really empty? Is darkness really empty? Or is darkness just filled with something that we can't necessarily see or digest? The album really has the ability to bring sound and, and, and vocals into that emptiness and really create something out of it. That is pretty much what you're going to get from this record overall. From a vocal perspective, I thought the album was really interesting because this album, like I said, is not only dynamic from a sound perspective, it's also very dynamic from a vocal perspective. And I really feel for this record to work, you really have to have these two attributes. You cannot have an album that is very volatile from from the sound side of things, that you have tracks that, that merge black metal with, with electronic sound, with atmospheric elements, that really push the boundaries of sound, push the boundaries of space. You can't have that without having similar dynamics on the vocal side. It would fall completely flat. You have to have a, a very interesting vocal approach in order to maximize the sound of this record. And from the vocal side, I really felt the vocals felt into two different camps. The first camp, perhaps in my opinion, is one that gives a lot of atmosphere to the tracks. I really felt the vocals were a, a, cat a catalyst to the atmosphere that some of the songs had and the way they come at you and, and the way they present themselves almost feeling like this could become the soundtrack to perhaps a brand new Space Odyssey movie. It just has that, that kind of ability of the vocals n not necessarily transmitting the meaning of the words that they have, but rather transmitting a sensation, a feeling, uh, a mood. And I really like that, that aspect of the album and I really like the combination of that approach with the vocals with the music because the two just really complement each other extremely well. The other aspect of it is the more humane aspect of it and that is the side of the vocals that really feel a lot more traditional black metal style vocals. So you're going to get some tracks like I said where the vocals are almost just purely atmospheric 
and then you're going to have some tracks where the vocals have a more uh, down to earth, if you will, a more terrestrial um, uh, style or approach, and they have a little bit more of that traditional black metal feel to it. And, and I and I really appreciate that because, like I said, for an album that is this volatile from the sound perspective, you really have to have this combination of styles for the vocals. And then within those two approaches, you have very different approaches within themselves because the vocals don't follow any guidelines throughout this record. It's not like you're going to get a specific approach of harsh vocals or clean vocals or screaming vocals. The vocals go whatever the music takes them and I almost felt that at times that the vocal approach was really dictated by the sound of the tracks but my more important than the sound of the tracks was the atmosphere that the tracks had, the the, the sense of, of belonging to that track so you almost let the music let get itself into you and then the vocals that came out was the representation of the feelings that that music transported within your soul i really feel that throughout the record and i really feel that dynamic is really well represented not only by these two very specific camps as far as vocals are concerned but even within those camps and how the vocals were delivered Overall, this is a very unique album, very interesting album. It's an album that really left me scratching my head, an album that really took me out of my comfort zone, not a record that I would necessarily listen to on a normal basis, and a record that absolutely knocked me down because I wasn't really expecting, or perhaps I wasn't ready uh, to, to be fully emerged into it because it's really layered, it's really textured. There's so many things to digest from this record. This record goes beyond music, it goes beyond lyrics, it goes beyond all the normal uh, attributes that a, a heavy metal or a black metal album would have to offer. This album really goes, uh, goes beyond all of that. It really creates almost its own genre, it creates its own approach, its own sound. And from that perspective, it's an album that I don't think I'm even at this point really able to fully comprehend. I just don't think I have the necessarily ability to really understand exactly everything that went on with this record on a track by track basis because there were so many things happening there were so many different emotions there were so many different characteristics at play that this is one of those albums that perhaps only the creator of the record can fully understand what his vision was because any single person listening to this album will interpret the album from their own personal perspective so they will have a much a much different opinion or a much different vision of what this record represents and what this record is depending on their own feelings and on their own perspective. As far as songs are concerned, I picked three songs that offer different dynamics. This album has the ability to have a very uniform sound all the way through, but when you look at the songs individually, they have very interesting and different dynamics and structures that really segregate them from each other, but then they, every single track has this atmospheric nuance to it that just really creates this overall blanket that holds them together as a record. So I want to start off with Venus. Uh, the song has a lot of electronic influence. This to me is a song that has two uh, very well-defined layers to it. To me there is definitely a more electronic layer that plays a role under the surface. It starts off the track like that but it, it never necessarily goes away completely. Sometimes it's more predominant, sometimes it's less, but it's always there underneath the surface. And then there's a lot more power, black metal driven power, specifically from the drums and vocals as the main uh, as the main layer of this of this track. So it's a song that in my opinion is really divided into two different worlds. The, the world that we can see, which is that more black metal approach to the song with really furious drums, really a really violent track overall with great vocals, and then underneath it you have this electronic, almost psychedelic mood, vibe, uh, atmosphere, if you will, that really allows the song to sound like it's coming at you in two separate sound waves. It has a very interesting dynamic, has a very uh, interesting characteristics. I, I don't think I've ever heard a song that had the ability to sound like two separate songs coming at me in two separate frequencies but still work together as one. Really interesting track. Next, Terra, uh, a song that, in, that has a lot of brutality to it, almost like two tectonic plates on earth uh, uh, smashing themselves against each other and putting pressure on one another. That's kind of the feel that I get from this track. It has a little bit of a sense of of despair specifically coming out of the vocals. The vocals really have a, a sense of despair and finality to this track. They really add that uh, almost um, a feeling of hopelessness. So I really like that aspect from the vocals. It really plays well with the overall sound, with the overall uh, brutality that this track has, 
the, the two really uh, feed off of each other and really create a very interesting uh, sounding uh, sounding song very linear in its approach there are a few changes that occur that give the, tr the track a little bit more of a sinister vibe but overall this is a song that really doesn't go um, down the the you know down a rabbit hole it just it really is focused from the beginning to the end it knows where it starts it knows where it needs to go there are some moments that you feel like the song is kind of losing a little bit of itself and that's when it becomes really dark and somber but overall is a track that's very linear in its approach and I really like all the different characteristics that it has specifically that more somber part that starts off by being predominantly in the vocals but eventually transmitting that same emotion that same feeling that same atmosphere into the music really interesting then this song bleeds it into the next track which is the last track on the album mercury so this this has a sense of finality like not only terror had a sense of finality to it uh, it has a sense of closure the way it bleeds it into mercury and then Mer mercury is pretty much uh, an instrumental track that closes off the album mercury itself really feels like the curtain coming down and, and it is the end it's a song that has the ability to suck you into space and then for you to notice yourself uh, being taken away into, into the emptiness of space and as your life slips away you, you're able to understand that moment specifically but also understand the darkness and the emptiness that is around you this track musically has the ability to give you that feeling really interesting really perfect way in my opinion to close off an album like this i don't think you could do it any other way there's really a sense of finality with this track even the way the track finishes it doesn't finish it the song abruptly it's not a song that ends abruptly it's a song that really just kind of simmers all the way down into oblivion perfect way to close off an album that has a lot of brutality but at the same time has a lot of peace built in with that within the space within the confines of the darkness of the record all right guys this is it this is omega infinity solar specter once again out march 27th on season of mist let me know your thoughts on the project use the comment section below i'll be reading those and getting back to you take care guys